the ubiquitous CV joint is an essential component found in virtually every car with a driven independent axle. It has been a reliable workhorse of the automotive world, efficiently transmitting power from the engine to the wheels, even when the wheels are moving up and down or turning. It's a simple, robust, and time-tested design, but leave it to Hyundai and Kia to challenge the status quo with their unconventional creation, the Uni Wheel. The Uni Wheel, characterized by its box-like structure, might look like something out of a science fiction movie, but it is indeed a real concept designed to replace traditional and CV joints. It features a slot for the central sun gear to move up and down, along with articulating arms filled with four planetary gears each. These gears work together to transfer power to a ring gear connected to the actual wheel. It's a departure from the conventional, and its creators claim it offers several advantages. However, with any groundbreaking innovation, there are questions and skepticism abound. Uh, one of the primary issues with traditional CV joints, especially when subjected to extreme angles, is their tendency to wear out prematurely. This is often observed in vehicles with uh, the large ground clearance. The uni wheel addresses this problem by eliminating both inner and outer CV joints and shortening the drive shaft. In theory, this should result in improved efficiency and longevity. Uh, to make, make the uni wheel work, uh, individual electric motors are placed near the uni wheel assembly, necessitating two motors per axle. Uh, this approach eliminates the unsprung weight that comes with in wheel motors uh, while freeing up valuable space in the center of the vehicle. Uh, while this sounds promising, it raises questions about where other crucial components like controllers, inverters, and onboard chargers will be located. The relocation of the motors may not necessarily mean a reduction in overall complexity. And on the positive side, the uniwheel handles drive reduction internally, effectively combining the functions of the CD joint and drive reduction into a single unit. Uh, this represents the clear packaging improvement and should reduce weight, all else being equal. Power delivery and efficiency also remain consistent throughout the uniwheel's range of motion. Both Hyundai and Kia I like the uniwheel scalability, making it suitable for a wide range of applications, from wheelchairs to robots to cars, including a nice law of concern from the talk of the PN management. However, there are legitimate concerns. The intricate meshing gears within the uniwheel introduce potential wear points and may generate friction. Noids traditionally work to minimize. Gears are known for their characteristic whine, while CV joints tend to operate more quietly. Another intriguing question arises regarding the uniwheel's suitability for use on a steerable axle. While the video demonstrates small angle turns where the motors pivot with the wheel, etc., unclear whether there is enough room to accommodate full lock steering on the horizontal axis. The boots shown at the wheel end of the shaft may house CV joints which could be more suitable for steering maneuvers. If that's the case, then this hardly is simplifying. It's quite the opposite. So lastly, a matter of friction brakes is worth considering. Regenerative braking, while effective for everyday driving, may not suffice for emergency stops. Mounting a brake to the drive shaft inboard without on the drive. And then move then to another perspective of the 1170s. Some of them Train prevent. The uni wheel concept is undeniably fascinating, showcasing the spirit of out of the box engineering. It presents a range of potential benefits, including improved efficiency, reduced wear, and increased in frame or caliber in body space for additional features or cargo. However, it also raises legitimate concerns about noise, wear, and its suitability for steerable axles. As of now, it remains up involved in your feed environment. And we eagerly await further development and real world testing. It will be interesting to compare the uni wheels merits and drawbacks with the latest ultra light and wheel motors like the ones created by Orbis Electric with integrated disc brakes.
In fact, those motors probably deserve their own article since the company claims to offer an EV in a box. A simple three-hour EV conversion for any vehicle. That's a big claim worth investigating. Amanda